Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And today, we're playing Machina. We're showing you the new blue-green ruler and what he can do. But before we get into it guys, we just want to remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below guys, check it out. It only takes a dollar to support us and show us some extra love and we'd greatly appreciate it. With that, let's get into mopping with Mary Bell. So, it is Machina, is the ruler. The blue-green buy box ruler for Alice Origins 2. And he has Stranger Tin. Just like all the others, he judges for two blue and a green, and energizes for blue and green. And then he's got the, when a water regalia enters the field under your control, choose one. If it is Maribel type zero, which is his regalia, you choose two. Um, he still has the same like the others. You get one stranger at random from your stranger deck, put your hand at, at random, or you can do judging for zero. And then his two specials are, you can put two, two, two water machine resonator tokens into the field, or put Five one one counters on a Mary Bell type zero. So you can go wide with lots of little dudes, or you can make one dude really big. It's really about where you're at. Yep. It's it's really pretty strong, in all honesty. It's, it's interesting to see what it's gonna do. Um, but his judgment. He is a 12-12 with Pierce. Pretty good. <laughs> Solid. Yeah. Um, as long as you control a resonator named Mary Bell type zero, this card gains plus one thousand, plus one thousand. Solid. And then God's Art is update. You pay a blue and a green, put 10 one one counters on a Mary Bell type zero you control, choose a card from your stranger deck at random and put it into your hand. So you get to make your Mary Bell type zero real angry and he gets to be real angry yeah. when it's a creature. So you're like, I'm going to swing for 40 because well, you just died. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. That's what I want you to do is die. So his strangers that I got for this one, we first got Athenia, the Windmaster. She is one green for a 6-6. Six, six. You enter, put up to two target cards in any removed area from into their owner's graveyard. And then when this card is put into a graveyard from the field, you may pay a green. If you do, choose a card from the stranger deck at random and put it into your hand. And then you can banish this card to target stranger or regalia gains barrier. So you can protect your Mary Bell type zero or any stranger that you want. And it can it can pseudo get rid of the removed things or yeah. it gets your stuff back. Yeah, a uh, stranger that feeds into another stranger, not too bad. Yeah, yeah. Next is Undyne the Spirit. She is a blue and one for a 7-7, seven, seven, quick cast flying. Enter, return up to three target and non-J resonator, non-magic stone entities to the owner's hands. This is really cute with any of the regalias because it lets you trigger them quicker and trigger them more. Because each time Mary Bell type zero comes into play, you get to trigger things. So you're like, cool, bounce it in my hand, play it again to get two more dudes and another stranger. Done. Great. Uh, next is the blue wizard. She has one blue for a 6-6 six, six, quick cast. Cancel target automatic ability of a resonator. Hey, Lorite, you're back. Yep. Kind of. Kind of, a little bit. Yeah, not as strong, but more, you're there. More balanced. Yeah. Next is Royal Palace Guardian Mage Freya. She has a blue and a green for a 7-7 seven, seven, quick cast as well. You may change all targets of target spell or ability that has one or more target. So it essentially lets you manipulate what they're doing. Oh, that's a kill spell for my dude? Let's kill your dude. Yeah. Thanks. And then lastly is the healing gimmick. He is zero for a two six. He is a machine stranger, so that helps. Banish this card, you gain a thousand life, draw a card. You can pay a green and a blue, remove a machine in your graveyard from the game, put this card from your graveyard to your hand, play this ability only if your J ruler is machina. That's really good. Yeah. So he is free low, a thousand life, and draw a card, which yeah. is really, really strong just by himself for free. Yeah. He doesn't cost anything to play, so you get a dude and you gain life. And you can always get it back. Yeah. It's kind constantly. of disgusting. It's very disgusting for sure. Yeah. And our first real uh, unit here is uh, Mary Bella. It's a blue and a green. 6-6. Six, six. She's a human machine. Enter. Search your deck for a machine. Reveal it and put it in your hand. Then shuffle your deck. That's that's already super good. Yeah. One blue. Discard this card. Search your deck for a card named Mary Bella. Type 0. Reveal it and put it in your hand. And shuffle your deck. And I do believe that's the Regalia. Mm -hmm. Which is silly. And then, remove this card from your graveyard from the game, put a soul counter on Mary Bella type 0 you control. So, all the value is free, especially turn 1 where you're just like, discard this, go get Mary Bella, turn 2, play Mary Bella. Now you can put a soul counter on it for no, for all the free reasons. Yeah, she literally fuels everything that you need for Mary Bella type 0. She yeah. goes and gets it, and she gives it the counter. Or if you already have the mana to play her, she goes and finds another one. Yeah. Awesome. Just... Insane. 
Next up is the Sniper Robot. He is a green and a blue for a 6-6 six, six machine. You may rest X recovered machine resonators you control, where X is, the num X is the total cost of target resonator, if you do destroy it. So let's say they have a four drop dude, you're like, cool, I'm gonna tap four machines, that dude dies. Yep. And you're making free machines with Machina on the front side when, when you play Maribel type zero, so you get free little dudes to help use this dude's ability. Yeah, and he can tap himself too. He just like comes into play, tap, bam, and then done. And he's searchable because of the Mary Bella. So if you need to go get one, you're like, ah, cool, I'm gonna go get one. Exactly. Uh, next, of course, is Vivian, the mechanical fairy. It's one blue, three, three, flying. Whenever another machine enters the field, you control put a plus one, plus one counter on this card. Remove two plus one, plus one counters from the card. Rest, target rest in here. To help slow down your opponent while you just stop them. At yeah. She's, she's there to slow them down slash you get the one upper hand that you get to be like, hey, tap down your dudes. I'm going to swing for a lot yeah. because you die now. Next is the underwater robot. He's two blue for a 7-7. Seven, seven. Rest two recovered machines you control. Rest target J resonator. Again, just like Vivian. Tap down dudes. And as long as you control five or more machines, this card gains barrier. So it's a little dude that can get barrier, which is really frustrating for a lot of things. And he just helps tap down dudes. So yeah. He controls the board and gives barrier. Especially with the little dudes from Mary Bell Type Zero. Yeah. And as stated before, he looks like the robot Tur Ninja Turtle. <laughs> yes, yes he does. Alright. The Determination of the Machine Lord. It's a green and a blue sword art. It has quick cast. Choose one. Machine resonators you can J resonators you control gain swiftness and plus two plus two until end of turn. Or return target two target machines you control to the owner's hand. Or search your deck for two machines with total cost one or less, put it in the field, and other wait, and other one into your graveyard, then shuffle your deck. So we'll see all the fun stuff that can really do with this, pretty much. Yeah, so if you're going wide, you can give all your dudes swiftness that turn, that you make them all, or yeah. you can go get you can go get any of the dudes that like the one drop dudes like a Vivian. If you need one, you're just like, cool, go get a Vivian. Put it yeah. in play. Thanks. Tap down your dudes, because I can. Uh, next up is the Ultimate Shield. It is an addition. There's one blue. Card's name, Mary Bell Type 0. You control, gain barrier. And you can tap, target J Resonator. You control, gets plus 0, plus 4. You can tap, prevent all damage that will be dealt to target Machine Resonator until the end of turn. Play this ability only if you control Mary Bell Type 0. So these are also one of the machines you can go get that because it is an addition machine. So that last card we just read, the Determination, goes and searches a machine one drop. Yep. So you're like, cool, go get this. My Mary Bell Type Zero has barrier now. Thanks. It's disgusting. Yes, very, very. Next one is a Buster Rifle. It's one blue edition. Card's name Mary Bell Type Zero. You, you control gain Pierce, which is hey. Hey. Tap target J Resonator. You control gets plus four hundred until end of turn because why not? And then tap banish a machine resonator. This card gain deals damage equal to the banished resonator's attack to target J Resonator. Play this only if you control Mary Type. Mary Bell Type Zero, which is also extremely powerful. Yeah, it is also a one drop machine, so you can go search it up if you need. Yeah. And I mean, the machines really kind of are a one hit wonder on Mary Bell Type Zero and Machina being big with yeah. Pierce. So that's kind of what you're hoping for. You don't have to worry about it like super early. If you get it, cool, but that's kind of what they do. Yeah. Next up is the tune up of Mary Bell. It is a blue and a green for a quick cast sword art. And you choose one if you don't control Mary Bella, choose one at random instead. Destroy target machine resonator you control and draw X cards where X is the total cost of the resonator, destroyed this way. Yeah. Or put six wall encounters on target machine resonator you control. Seems good. Or put a token copy of target machine resonator you control into the field. So yeah, yeah. we're making dudes, we're making them really angry. Yeah. Like, I, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Like, if you get extra little healing gimmicks, just if you need to save your life, you're like, cool, make an extra copy of healing gimmick. Gain some life. And next, of course, is the start of the deck, Mary Bell Type Zero. It's a blue and a green machine, Mythic, so you only have one on the field. Your J Ruler gains barrier, which we know how Gil felt. So, yay. <laughs> yeah. Tap, produce two wheels of any combination, blue to green, spend it only to cast God's Arts, uh, Strangers, or Sword Arts. And then you pay zero. This card becomes a 1,000-1,000 Resonator until the turn. Play this ability only if you have a soul counter on it, which obviously you can do pretty quickly with Mary Bella. Yeah. And like all the cards that say put counters on this card, they just sit there until she becomes a creature and yes. then they're still just there. Yeah. So you're like, cool, she's a 10 to 6 counters. 
she's, she's essentially a 16 16 yeah and then she goes back to being a regalia at the end of the turn so you're just like oh she's just back to regalia now and it's with, silly and with that shield she just has barrier ayo <laughs> so you can't mess with all those counters that you have on there for sure yeah next up is suppression order it is a one blue quick cast sword art as an additional cost to play this card reveal a machine resonated from your hand Thank this you. card deals damage equal to the revealed resonator's attack to target J resonator. If this card is awakened, choose a card from your stranger deck at random and put it in your hand, and it's awakening for green. Yep. So it gives blue a kill spell, and you get to like sure they get to see what's in your hand, but yeah, you get to pay one blue and kill their dude. Yeah. Like I, cool. And get a stranger for it. Yeah. Pretty pretty value awesome. right there. Next one is Skyfall. One blue champ. This card gains quickness as long as you're. One, as it's in your hand and your you control machine resonator and then return target resonator to its owner's hand simple as that again clear the way for your two big dudes to get there yep and then next is Aaron Dyke, the nitrogen blade it is one blue quick cast cancel target automatic ability of a resonator if this card is awakened destroy that resonator and it awakens for a blue and two so all the silly come into play abilities that are happening right now you're just like no don't don't do that yeah. Like a little red green three drop dude that goes against two one dudes? No. Stop it. Yeah. It's kind of sad that they didn't make this into a sword art. Yeah. Like all the other powerful spells that. I, that I think got... it would make them too strong though. Like it would make it way too powerful. It's already strong enough, but right. that would make it so much more. But that is it for the deck. We have the stones. They're really simple. Adaractia's Memorial, which is the pseudo dual stone. It taps for whatever color the ruler is, and he's blue green. Yep. We have Magic Stone of the Deep Wood, and it's the blue green dual stone. And then we have two water magic stones because you have mostly water in the deck more than you have anything else. Yep. And it's I think it's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens with when we play Mary Bell versus Prissia, but it is what it is. You're you're trying to get there with two big dudes, Machina and Mary Bell. Yeah. And it it can happen pretty quickly. I've I've seen it I've seen it happen. I chose to not go the the Guinevere route, route. yeah, because yeah, yeah. there's there's another combo you can use, which is Guinevere and the the normal enchantment that just triggers over and over. So you can just stack Guinevere in turn two. But I didn't really want to do that because that's that's a meta thing that's always seen. Yeah, exactly. You'll we're here find to, it. We're here to brew. Yeah, I want to brew crazy things. But with that, guys, the deck list will be down below. Go check it out. Leave a like in the comment. Let us know what you think about it, and we'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Also, guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.